Hi you peeps, in this video I'm going to show you the repair of an inner wing on a, on a Mini. The, the patch here is going to be right behind where the shock absorber mounts up. So it's, it's double skinned, you've got the, the bulkhead box section plus the inner wing, then there's a bracket that bolts over the top where the, the shock absorber mounts. Let's get straight into it. Starting off, we're just going to give it a very very quick clean up. All I want to do is just break all the surface rust off just so I can make a template. Here I'm making just a quick template for the outer skin. Strictly speaking, I could have got away with just measuring this plate out and then, then making it. But paper doesn't really cost anything. I, I had it to hand. It, it's easier to get, get the bolt holes exactly where they should be. As you can see, quick and easy, just use a magnet to hold it in place and then just, just draw around it. Nothing complicated, but the thing is, you know it's going to be perfect later on. I haven't got to mess around because it, it's there. I've, I've drawn it from the actual panel. As you can see, all I did was transfer the the template to, to some metal, cut it out, it is lined up perfectly. Now all I'm doing is just marking round the plate so I know where to cut. Nothing complicated, hold it in position so the bolt holes line up, draw around it. Here I am just uh, cutting on the line. I'm being careful to stick to the line as close as possible so that way I've got an even gap all the way around my plate. I'm also being careful not to go too deep. As I said earlier, it's double skinned and I don't want to be cutting through the layer behind. All I want to do is take off this top skin. As you can see, all I've done is cut through the first sort of skin, uh, now just carefully teasing it off and then sort of breaking it where I haven't gone all the way through. You're better off just breaking it off rather than sort of cutting too too far in. It takes a little bit longer, but you, you know it's going to be strong later on.
what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting out all the rust it is actually inside a box section that runs across the bulkhead of of the mini so I'm taking it to to the edges and again just prying it out with a screwdriver or a lever bar whatever you've got to hand All of this was the sound editing that rats had got in and, and had eaten. Here we are just cleaning it all up, making sure we get all of the rust away. Um, and then we'll, what we're doing is we're putting some extra prime on it. You make sure you get all of the rust out of there, cleaned up. Etch Prime, in theory, it shouldn't come back. Right, I've made this little end cap. Um, strictly speaking, I could have made it flat, but the problem with that is I had no way of clamping it. So what I did is I made this little box, and then that way I could tap it in, get it flush, and then I haven't got to worry about trying to get clamps in there or hold it somehow, and then have the possibility of it protruding out. Tacked in the corners first because that way I know when I come to welding, completely welding the outside edge, it shouldn't move because you've already fixed it in place. All we're doing here is just knocking back the welds. Um, I'm not being too careful because there is there's going to be another plate that goes over the top, so you won't actually see any of it. It doesn't have to be too neat. Um, normally, when knocking back welds for a, uh, a butt weld, you try and be careful so you don't see any ridges or you don't um, you, you don't sort of make make yourself like a little greater. But in this instance, it didn't matter. It was just just get it done.
again etch primer between the skins should um, prevent any any further corrosion the joy of etch primer is, is it eats into the metal and you, you can also weld through it um, pe people think, seem to think that you need weld through primer because it's got zinc and stuff in it problem with weld through primer is it doesn't actually stick to your panel it's great if for just doing little bits and bobs but as a long term thing you're always better off using uh, etch primer because it doesn't burn off eats into the metal then you've got a permanent uh, corrosion resistance As you can see, I've drilled four holes in the centre of the plate. This is just to plug weld it in, make sure we get that that extra support, stop it um, flaring out, uh, getting the possibility of water ingress. All we've done is we've just lined up the holes that we made uh, for the mounts, just clamped it in place, top and bottom. If you don't have long C clamps like I've got, you could quite easily just use the um, the the bolts that go for the shock absorber bracket and actually bolt it into place before you weld it. As you can see, when I've done the plug welds, I didn't quite get all of the hole, so just went over it again just quickly. Don't really matter as long as it's is it secure. The time you've got the bracket for the shock absorber on, you won't see it anyway. But I just like to be thorough, make sure you've filled in all the gaps. Again, all I've done is I've tacked it around and then just tap it in place. We want to make sure, as, as this is going to be uh, visible, you want to make sure it's as flush as you possibly can before you weld it, because otherwise you're going to end up with a slight overlap with your welds. In this instance, I'm not too worried about distortion because there's a box section that's going to hold it all in place. So I'm just going through it. Um, nice long welds, keeping the heat in there so I get decent penetration. Um, then going to another little bit, just tapping it down again, making sure it's flush.
Now all I'm doing is just cleaning up the welds. I'm taking my time, I'm being careful not to make any gouges. I want it as flush as possible. Um, as, as I said earlier, th this bit is going to be visible. So, I mean, it will have some stain chip over the top, so you won't see it all completely. But, you know, be, be careful at this stage. Try not to put any gouges in, and you'll have a metal finish. You won't need any filler or, or anything else. Again, nice little bit of etch primer over the top and your repairs almost disappeared. There's a little bit at the bottom you can see where it's gouged slightly but I'm not too worried about it. As, it, as I said earlier, there's a bracket that goes over for the shock mount. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.